Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is going to be a love reading to look at the current love and emotional situation, what your heart needs right now, how you can give your heart what it needs, who has a message for you today, what that message is, and what might be coming for you emotionally and in love. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Spirit, please connect to Pisces, love, love, interest, and emotions regarding love and show them exactly what they need to know. So what is the current love situation that Spirit would like you to know about or to discuss? We have the sun. This is a happy... This is the most beautiful card in the deck, Pisces. This is happiness. This can be a new relationship. This can be revived feelings, new feelings in a relationship. This is also Leo energy, but this is feeling young and youthful and excited and, and having fun and playtime with your partner or the desire to have that with somebody. What does your heart need right now? Your heart needs equal give and take. You have overgiven, you have overshared, you have overfunctioned many, many times, and now you're wanting to have equality. You're wanting to have equal give and take. You want somebody to be as kind and as generous and loving towards you as you have been towards them. You want somebody to also recognize your genuineness, to recognize your truth and your value in love and deal with you accordingly. Well, how can Pisces give their heart what it needs right now? So we have the four of pentacles here, Pisces, with the death card in this particular card. There is something that your heart needs to let go of in order to move towards something much better. So how you can give your heart what it needs, release control, release expectations of outcomes, release your desire to have things a particular way. We have the figure of death with the Grim Reaper behind the Four of Pentacles. So something is definitely going to be changing and it'll be better if you let it go before you're forced to release it. Who has a message of love for Pisces today? We have the Ace of Wands. This is somebody who feels very, very passionately towards you with their love stick. Um, independent male, female. This is somebody who may even have lizard brain for you. Just thinking almost like they're obsessed, a one-track mind. The Ace of Wands can indicate fire energy, but I'm feeling more it's a person who is extremely, extremely passionate about you. Um, they think about you intimately. They're really definitely, um, I, I'm, I'm here, this may, we're, we're going to try to do this in an appropriate way. This person may spend a lot of alone time thinking about you in a very personal manner. And what is the message this person has? They want victory. They want you to adore them and they want to let want to let you know that they adore you. They want you to admire them. They want to have recognition. They also see you as somebody they admire and somebody that they do value. So this is a very beautiful um, message. This person feels very passionately about you and they want to have victory. They want to have recognition. They want you to look upon them with kind, favorable perspectives. And then, oh, and Pisces, I'm getting here also, They, some of these people would like you to tie a ribbon around their bow or around their, their wand, so to speak. Um, so I think there's an Irish song or a Scottish or Irish song about putting a ribbon about a, around a, um, or a bow around, anyway, I will move on. Um, and what is coming or what is ahead for Pisces in love? We have the Three of Swords, but this is a Three of Swords that is quite different. Um, this is the after tarot. So it shows what happens after something has happened. So what is coming, Pisces, is a new chapter in your life where you're going to be able to remove the swords that you used to have in your heart. And you're going to be able to do some healing, some bandaging up of old wounds. This is going to be a healing chapter where you're no longer bloodletting. You're no longer sacrificing 
you're no longer being a martyr. You're no longer over functioning in relationships because you have somebody. Some of you may have more than one person actually who is feeling affectionate towards you, who wants to have a very prominent place in your life. On the bottom of this deck is the Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings, new tangible offers. Let's dive in and see what's going on here. Spirit, what is the sun card for the current emotional and love situation for Pisces, please? What is the sun? Thank you so much. Pisces, you are the empress. Like you, as you are operating in an energy of your own power, recognizing your value, you are a super attractor. You are shining extremely brightly. You are drawing people to you like a moth to a flame. And this is happening because you are not chasing. You are not barking up trees. You are not, you know, in an energy of need, of lack. You are in your empress energy and it the light is shining on you. Blessings are coming to you and you are radiant. Your radiance is profound at this particular point in time. And what is the six of pentacles for what Pisces heart needs right now? And Spirit's saying, if you do not find yourself in this particular energy, you can easily change that because the energy surrounding you right now is very favorable for you to choose, keyword for you to choose to step into this energy and embody it as your truth. So here we're seeing cards of balance for what your car, what your heart needs right now. Your heart really truly needs healing, balance, restoration, that equal give and take. Someone not to complete you, but someone to complement you. Somebody who doesn't come in your life to fill a void, but somebody because you are good. You are already good. You are at a place where you are doing the healing. You have healed. You are standing solidly on your own two feet. You have overcome much. This is about having for your heart something that's additive rather than subtractive. Something that makes you feel good on top of the fact that you are already good on your own. Let me get these in the right order here. And then what is this four pentacles for help? Pisces can give their heart what it needs. What is this four of pentacles for help? Thank you. Two cards here. The first one being the page of swords. This is about honesty and truth. About what you might want to or already know. It's past due time to release in order for you to go towards what is truly meant for you. This is a transformation, Pisces. Releasing what you know is no longer serving you so you can move on to meeting your twin flame, having that relationship evolve to the next level, going possibly for some of you to marriage, to that next step, to a very foundational relationship. But at first, there is there is this four pentacles and the truth of the fact that there is something that needs to be released and if you do not release it, there will be a death, a transformation in the circumstances, something hard, heavy hitting that will make you get to the point where you want to cut it free because what is waiting for you on the other side of release is so much more beautiful, so much more profound and so much more fulfilling to you, for you. And it's something moreover that you have truly been desiring and manifesti manifesting. The Four of Wands speaks about a small celebration, a win, um, receiving gifts, but it's also a card about your manifestations coming in. You have been, man <clears throat> pardon me, hold on one second, guys. You have been manifesting love. You have been manifesting an equal partner. Pardon me. You have been manifesting somebody who values you and sees you for the true, genuine, person that you are and appreciates that what is this ace of wands for who has a message of love or a message for pisces today what is this ace of wands for who has a message thank you and we have the three of swords now it's very interesting that we have a transformation here from somebody here who feels very passionate about you that also has the three of swords going towards your future undoing that three of swords not no spirit says not undoing but healing 
Now, two messages for this Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands here is this person can tell that you've had your heart broken. For some of you, it could very well be this person that has, in fact, caused you some pain, disappointment, or loss. But I'm feeling more over that this is a person that can see all too clearly, um, that is aware of all the swords you have had in your heart, that you have gone through unsurmountable loss, not just in intimate relationships, but maybe even in family relationships, in job situations. They know that across the board in your life, you've really had a number of things impact you um, emotionally. And this person really truly admires your ability, ability to overcome these circumstances. And that is also what makes them admire you even more is your tenacity, your endurance, the fact that you have remained and chosen to rise up instead of allow the circumstances to sink you. And this person truly admires you. What is this Six of Wands for the message this person has for Pisces? What is this Six of Wands for the message this we have the Ace of Pentacles coming out. Yep, absolutely. Anything else? So this person definitely wants to give you an offer. They may be thinking about how or they may have already decided how they want to offer. Some some of these people may have already mentioned that they want to offer you something, whether that's in, you know, I would like to be with you. I would like to spend time together. I would like to move in with you. Um, but really what this person is would like to do is extend this ace of pentacles and have long-term investment here this person admires you wants you to admire them and wants to grow something with you this has not necessarily been articulated to the full extent yet but when this person looks at you they do admire you and you are the person most suited for them from their point of view and you may have even felt as though this person may be very suitable for you as well but we're seeing, most importantly, the Ace of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles is Eight of Pentacles. So the two of you really working together to create something beautiful, long-lasting, enduring, long-term. Now, for some of you who are already in long-term relationships, this is about rekindling that attraction, rekindling and finding deeper value, more more interest more spending more time with the one that you already love and what is this three of swords for what is ahead or coming for pisces in love what is this three of swords here yes pisces there this is going to be a healing relationship um even if you're in a relationship already or if you're um just starting one this is going to definitely be an opportunity to come together with somebody and have something altogether different than what you've had in the past. This, I'm, I, I just heard this could possibly restore your faith and connections and love and to some degree, even humanity. What is this three of swords? Anything else for this three of swords? Thank you, spirit. So let's see what this is. Yeah. Now the thing is you need to be, or spirits asking, you to be mindful of is that because you have done so much healing work when this love comes in you may be reluctant to open your heart to it but this is a match that is going to be extremely beautiful now please do keep in mind that some of you may have multiple options in love you will know the right partner the right love by the way it makes you feel that's the same with energy. You know, you you know energy by the way it makes you feel. Let's get one oracle for this message. One oracle for thank you. Wow, that's too many spirit. Let's let's be more concise and precise for Pisces. One one card for Pisces for this message, please. Just one. Okay, there we go. So we have activated earth coming out, power places, ley lines, trust where you are being led. I just heard you are being led into the arms of love, Pisces. You are being led to healing. You are being led to a very restorative time in your life where you're going to have connections blossom. Things that you have manifested are coming to the fore. 
it may require you to release things, but some things in order to have new things in your life. Now, this could be mindsets, you know, your mindset about what relationships are. If you have learned that relationships hurt, this can be releasing, letting go of that concept, that mental construct that relationships hurt, people cause pain, because that is a, a gross generalization that is a byproduct of pain and suffering that has not yet been healed. We see you in the Empress energy, having clarity, being a very beautiful light, coming to a place where you're going to have equal give and take, balanced, harmonious relationships where you can build, needing to release some unhealed energies or situations that you know will prevent or block you from going towards your heart's desire with respect to romantic manifestations. There is a person here feeling extremely passionate about you and they want a new beginning with you. They, they admire you. They want to have something long-term with you. They also understand that you have really gone through a number of different, very trying circumstances in your life. So I feel that this person is going to be very patient and kind with you, just as we're seeing with the Six of Pentacles, because you matter to them. And this is what we see, that you have the opportunity here to have a very healing relationship, but it will require you to be mindful of where you might be closed off as this Ace of Cups, this cup of love is trying to come in, that you're not focused on your old scripts, your old, old dialogues, what used to happen. Um, Spirit, one angel answers for Pisces for this reading. One angel answers. Thank you. No need to worry. So Pisces, again, you are going to know the truth by the way the energy feels. You are going to know the right partnership by the way it feels. If there is resistance, if there is conflict, that's probably not, you know, when you, for example, if you eat food and it gives you indigestion, that's probably not a food you need to be eating because it's not agreeing with your body. If you're spending time with somebody and there's always conflicts and arguments, that is probably an indicator that this is not an emotional good fit for you for whatever reason. So please understand spirit is there guiding you, protecting you, shielding you, and giving you the energetic vibrations and signs for you to have clarity on going forward so you feel safe. Because I think that's also when, when you've been through a past of a number of different circumstances that have left a mark. Oftentimes you may be closed off because you do not feel as though it's safe to love. But here Spirit is saying, no need to worry. We are guiding you towards love. We, you, are, you are in the arms of angels and we are guiding you to the arms of love. Spirit, one lucky oracle for thank you. No, one lucky oracle for Pisces for this reading. Thank you. Okay, we have two. Regardless of opposition, you will be successful. You will overcome your domestic troubles. So for those of you who are in a partnership or some type of domestic situation, it will be overcome. You are inclined to make people happy. Empress and son, people are looking at you with great admiration. They think of you as a very happy person. They like being around you in your energy. Love and happiness is in store for you more so in the future. This is exactly what we're seeing. You're whether you are partnered or not partnered right now, we see beautiful opportunities shaping up. No need to worry. Trust where you are being led. Regardless of the opposition, you will be successful. And then here, you will hear of a marriage sh shortly. So we do have the four of wands in this message. It could be a marriage around you or some of you could hear talks about marriage. A call from a loved one, a kiss. So some of you are going to definitely be getting communication from somebody you that is on your heart and it seems as though there will be some type of romantic interaction guard against losses in the future we have the four of pentacles in this message that show there are some there is some tidying up that could be done around your emotional space space and we finally see a change for the best is coming pisces the lucky numbers we have for this reading are one 5, 4, which reduces to a 10, which reduces to a 1. And then we have 3, 4, 5, 
which reduces to a 12, which reduces to a three. This is what I have for you today, Pisces. I wish you the best. God bless.